collector is right there. Art collector ahead in front. A half length to the middle. 16 pole. Art collector, Brian Hernandez Jr. to win the Toyota Bluegrass. I'm Jay Neff, thoroughbred trainer in Southern California, with a look at the latest goings-on with the Kentucky Derby this year. Because of the virus, the Derby's delayed till September, four months, and everything changes. Those great horses that we saw early in the year that normally would have totally dominated the Kentucky Derby, horses like Charlatan, Nadal, Thousand Words, really great-looking horses early in the year, they're gone. And here's a late comer that's worth taking a look at. Art Collector just won the Bluegrass Stakes and 100 points. That puts him in fourth place in the point standings for the Kentucky Derby in September. Those really big horses like Nadal and Charlatan, just a few starts, four starts for Nadal, three starts for Charlatan. If they're in good shape and they're holding together, they're impossible to beat. With the Kentucky Derby moved back to September, it's a whole different ball game. These lighter, smaller horses like Honor AP, not a very big horse, and Art Collector, who appears from what I can see to be a more normal size horse, they're holding together. They're coming into their own. Look at the record on Art Collector. Eight starts lifetime, not very impressive in his first five starts, but that was all during his two-year-old year. He was off from November till May, and he came back and won his last three starts in a row. And he won the Bluegrass, a big field, a, some nice horses in there, and he won easily by a wide margin. If we look at the trackist numbers, you can see he showed good speed overall with a peak speed of 42.1 miles per hour, and he finished strong with 35.4 miles per hour for the final fraction of that race. He's got the pedigree that can get him to the Kentucky Derby by Bernardini, who's from the AP Indy Seattle Slough family. And you guys who've watched my videos before know I love Buck Passer on the damn side, and there he is. And I like this rider, Brian Hernandez Jr. He is a pretty sharp rider. This was a really well-ridden race. Let me remind you what a blind switch is. Manny Franco on Tis the Law in the Holy Bull gets himself up in this pocket. That pocket you can't get out of is the perfect example of a blind switch. Gets stuck there, can't get out, yanks the horse's head up, puts on the brakes, and then has to pull out and go around the horses that blocked him in. Brian Hernandez Jr., on the other hand, gets himself behind horses right where he should be, but he sees the pack coming up behind him, and before they can box him in in a blind switch, he makes his move to the outside, gets himself clear, follows the horse on the lead, and then comes out around that horse for the win. This is the kind of smart riding that you guys need to be tuned into when you're handicapping horses. They can make a tremendous difference in the outcome of a race. Art Collector's another nice horse to consider along with Honor AP and Tis the Law for this year's Derby. And here's a reminder, we still have some shares available in the I'll Have Another Foal that's due from our Mayor Chalky this coming March. Remember, I'll have another one, the 2012 Kentucky Derby. Just go to our website. There's the link above. It's also in the description below. And you can get all the information you need on that if you want to buy a full share or if you want to get involved in racing, there's an option there as well. And also below, you can see our merchandise if you'd like a Cutter Neff Racing hat or coffee cup or t-shirt or a chalky shirt just give it a click so thank you for watching subscribe if you haven't comment below we want to hear what you have to say about the uh, derby this year and your thoughts on handicapping that race and when you are handicapping you will need good luck at the races